This is Electric Universe Geology Earth News. Today we're going to do a brief overview of just exactly what took place. All of these other videos that are on YouTube here are little snippets of what transpired. Now I'm going to try to give a brief thumbnail overview that goes with that. It's basically catastrophic. It's a plasma event. It happened within the last 10,000 years. The agent and date are not important. It could be Nibiru, it could be Jupiter, Saturn, Mars, Mercury. It doesn't matter. But there are eyewitness accounts of catastrophes. Again, the date doesn't matter. For my work, I kind of work with Worlds in Collision by Dr. Emanuel Velikovsky, and I use the eyewitness accounts not of Dr. Velikovsky, but of the survivors that he quotes. And they're very specific. And there's one event where there's a plague of darkness around the world is described where you can't see anything and there's dust in the air and it's windy and there's rivers of fire and oil falls from the sky and that's the main event and I think that's approximately 3500 years ago and I think it's probably caused by comet Venus that interacted with Earth came close enough to have electrical interactions it was able to attract dust from the tail of the comet and possibly material dug up from the surface of the earth electrically and volcanically thrown up into the air and then concentrated and sorted ionically by these electromagnetic events that took place. They covered the earth. It rained oil for days and nights you can see the results of that. I have videos that talk about the details of the oil raining for days and nights. There was a flood, it seems to have been from the equator, going north and south. It seems to have been then been drawn back to the equator. There's a hurricane going on. There's sloshing because the earth is changing its direction in more than one way. And while this is happening, there's deposition from above. The dust in the atmosphere is coming down and sticking where it's dry. It's electromagnetically shaped, it appears. I have two videos on that, one dealing with something centered in Afghanistan, one dealing with something centered in the southwest U.S. This appears to have created the mountains that we see today and the deserts in between them full of sediment probably caused by this event. That's the big picture. This one event, surrounded by many other events that are different than this, that don't have the dust, the dust is the key, the river of fire is the key, and the other incredible key ingredient in this scenario is Google Maps, which enables you to see how this transpired, what side is windward, what side is leeward, which way the wind was coming from while these events transpired. So that's the big picture something recent, something catastrophic, something electromagnetic with molten dust coming down from the sky, red hot mingled with the river of fire. The rocks are glowing red hot. If you can heat rocks to incandescence then how easy would it be to heat the dust to incandescence making it molten dust so that when it sticks to something it's going to make rock which will be misconstrued as volcanic by the geologic world. So that's the, the basic big picture, how geology was completely transformed. The surface of the earth was transformed. Even Albert Einstein, after reading Worlds in Collision, admitted that Dr. Velikovsky was correct concerning recent catastrophes, c catastrophes affecting the surface of the earth. He wrote it down. He sent it to Velikovsky. It's in an archive, the vArchive.org. So, yes, that's the big picture. Recent catastrophe, no time for erosion, no time for all of the things that standard geology requires. All of those fly out the window, the magic elevator, all that stuff. There's no time, if this is true. And maybe it's not, and maybe it is a two billion year model. That's also a possibility. Thank you.